and then the therapy is. So we will yeah. uh, do uh, the simulation no, in the Jupyter notebook. So I will ask you to open. Uh, so in your TVB distribution package, mm -hmm. to go in demo script, no, to go in the bin, okay. to launch IPython notebook command. And you should arrive in the demo script folder with all the tutorials. We will create a new one, so uh, Python 2. Okay, so what we will do is we will import the specific data of the macaque that we will uh, inject into the mathematic the neural mass model and then simulate <coughs> the bone activity of the macaque when it is at rest. Did you already heard about resting state mm -hmm. in uh, brain activity? Yeah. So uh, the first things you have to do is to import first uh, the TVB package that you will need. So from tvb.simulator.lab, import everything. Uh, did you do the face plane? Did you see the face plane viewer with the TVB uh, Python or just uh, in the graphical interface? Did you visualize the face plane uh, with the Jupyter notebook or not yet? Not yet. So to visualize, uh, so yesterday in the graphical user interface, you see, uh, so to vis to the face plane viewer, mm -hmm. to see the behavior or to to see the, yes the behavior of the neural mass model depending of the specific parameters. So yesterday. Uh, also, someone asked me if we can do this with the Jupyter Notebook. So here I will show you uh, the command line to do it. And you first need to, uh, to import um, the face plane interactive. In order to plot the face plane of the neural mass model. So in TVB simulator package, we have a folder where you have different functions that we can plot and the face plane in one of such functions. After we will have simulated uh, our brain activity, we will compute uh, the functional connectivity of the brain activity of the macaque. And for this, we will need two types of functions. First, we will need to, um, to put our data in a certain TVB format. And we will need the time series regions.
And to compute the functional connectivity, we will use one of the simplest uh, functions. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just want to scroll up Yeah, but it's also, yeah. Also this. So to compute the functional connectivity, we will use one of the, uh, the function available, the simple uh, uh, Pearson correlation coefficient, Korkov. And then we will import two Python functions, NumPy and time. Not yet. And you can run the cell once it's done. So you don't need to type, uh, uh, you will just type uh, the line code. The full notebook uh, will be available on the HBP Collab uh, this afternoon or tomorrow. So to set up the simulations, we need to, uh, to define the five main components of TVB. The first one, as you know, is a, uh, the connectivity matrix. So here, like yesterday, from the connectivity functions, from file, it's a way we can import personalized data. So if you have a patient or subject, uh, connect them, you can import them inside TVB using this function. Uh, so here you will put the path where you have put your, uh, the path of your macaque uh, folder. And you will import the connectivity. So usually, when you, it's not usually, it's in the, neuro, uh, in the neural mass model, you have the activity of the node, its intrinsic activity that is had to the uh, global dynamics. Which means that its own activity is already taken into account in the equations. So in the connectum, uh, also because uh, for some uh, preprocessing uh, reason, uh, we will, you have the self-connections. So here we will remove the self-connections with the node itself. So con.weights, so are the strengths of the links between the nodes. And here you will remove so the diagonals that correspond to the self-connections.
and once it is down, uh, I forget something. No, it's okay. Um, we will suppose in this case uh, that the transmission delay is instantaneous, which means that the conduction speed is infinite. So we are supposing there is no time delays in the equations to reduce the complexity of the computations and of the neural map. I didn't do it here, but usually uh, we are normalizing the connecton. Uh, the reason it's either to, to that the, the, the equation are converging and so have a solution, but also when you are comparing different subjects, it is better to normalize uh, the connectome. Once you have import your connectome, you have uh, removed the self-connections and alter or uh, put the condition speed uh, to infinite, you can configure the connectum. And if you want to visualize a connectum, we can just write a small uh, Python function. You can plot, if you want, um, the track length, the original track length. So we are doing exactly the same thing uh, that we have done for a human or for a mouse. It's exactly the same equations. The connectome is has the same form, it's just a table of numbers. So we just inject uh, inside the equation. The second component is to reconstruct the activity uh, of the model. And uh, you will use the same model than yesterday, the generic 2D. So 
So you have seen with the graphical interface how to have a look to the behavior of the model using the face plane. So here we will do exactly the same, but with the, the Jupyter notebook. So first we call the model. So I call it G2D model dot generic 2D with the default parameter. And by calling just the model, you can see the different uh, parameter, the, the value and the descriptions. To integrate the model, we need to define an integrator. For the moment, we will use uh, the un uh, methods and deterministic, so without noise. and define the integration steps. So in PVB we have uh, different uh, integrator. You have the, the uh, simplest one, it's Euler, uh, but uh, so deterministic or stochastic, the un that I said, deterministic, uh, the Runga Kuta, uh, etc. And then we create and launch the face plane by specifying which model I want to see, and the integrator. Okay. And if you launch the face plane, you get a figure similar to what you have seen, uh, what you have seen in the graphical user interface. So here you have the face plane with the two uh, node lines, uh, depending on the two set variables, uh, set variables and. Uh, I think it's too big. Ah, and here on the right, you have the different parameters. So if you click in the face plane, you see the trajectory. Drawn here for those uh, default parameters. So the system uh, go to a fixed point, and even more, it is a, uh, a focus. Which means that I'm reaching the fixed point by spiraling. I don't know if we can say that. And oscillating, spiraling uh, around the fixed point. So here you have uh, below uh, the time series uh, corresponding to the phase plane. So here you have this with this small uh, damped oscillation before 
reaching the fixed point. Yes, I believe. And you can play and increase uh, parameters. If I'm increasing A, I cross a bifurcation and know uh, I am in a uh, limit cycle. And you see the oscillations of the, uh, of the state variables. So exactly like for the graphical user interface, you can uh, investigate the phase plane depending on the parameters and see which behavior uh, the model exhibits. So for example, when I'm moving A, I'm crossing a bifurcation. So if we look here, okay. And here I'm at a uh, critical point because you see, so I have still the focus, but in the middle I'm starting to have the repulse, uh, repulsor. So you can change um, the act depending, here it's just a generic 2D, but uh, you can, uh, depending of the uh, the form of the nucleine uh, and the number of state variables, you can see uh, here it's V against W, but for example, tomorrow we'll see the epileptor model, which has uh, six state variables. So we can see the behavior of one state variables against another. We can also uh, add noise in the model by changing the integrator. So instead to define the integrator as deterministic, here we use it as stochastic. And we define the variance of the noise. So we initialize a second integrator, but this time stochastic, and we define the variance of the noise. We can uh, re-initialize the model. Oh, we don't need. And here you can see the fluctuation around the fixed point. But if you increase the variance here. Or we can change the variance directly here. We see how we are working in the phase space. So we are, the system explore a bigger part.
But in the resting state, it was uh, shown in the literature that the, the resting state of the, the bold activity, or uh, the resting state, either uh, the neuronal activity, the bold activity, emerge when the system is at the edge of the bifurcations. So when, uh, I, is it still here? Yes. When I am the border of an unstable, uh, at the edge of an instability. So I have, either I'm in the stable focus or in the fixed points, so I'm staying there. But when I'm uh, trying to get closer to the bifurcations and when I am noise, normally you see you're exploring a bigger part of a phase space, but also your point in jumping in the unstable part. So you have two types of stability. Because the si when the system is no. Sorry. <coughs> okay, that's easy. So when I'm here, I'm just exploring around the fixed point. So I'm not moving a lot. And you can see here, I'm just oscillate, type like oscillating around uh, the fixed point. But if I'm increasing, the noise, I'm pushing uh, maybe I'm pushing a bit too much, but yeah. when I had the noise, I'm jumping in the second uh, stability. So I'm doing like a uh, going back. And we can see the oscillations here of the limit cycles. So I'm going in this part. I'm pushing the systems, doing some oscillations. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going back here. And the noise push away, doing a long uh, round around the fixed point before coming back here. For the noise. So I'm exploring a bigger part. But you will see more a theoretical talk. It's for the bifurcation, it's uh, the last day, I think. Yes, we, you will have a, a lecture about the bifurcation uh, analysis and uh, using a different model where you can see the different type of behavior you can generate. So for example, here I'm generating uh, just resting state. And what we can see in the electro, uh, electrographic uh, signature is we have uh, this switching between um, this small fluctuation of noise, but also these oscillations. And it is what is, uh, it is the signature of the resting state. Uh, in the model, uh, for example, a Jensen Ritt, there is different type of activity you can generate, depending on the type of uh, bifurcations. Like for example, in epilepsy, uh, you have another type of bifurcation that will, uh, that will allow you to reproduce 
the fast uh, discharges, so the seizures. So here, to go further to the simulations, we will set up our model to the fixed point. So it's A equal 1.7402. Is the screen recording still working? Okay, thank you. So I'm putting my model at the edge of the bifurcations. So I have defined the anatomy of the brain. Here I have the anthracic. Uh, activity and now I need to link both by defining the coupling functions so we call con underscore coupling it's coupling dot and here we will use the difference functions So in this model, uh, in these functions, uh, the activity uh, of the, the node depends on the difference between its own activity and the activity of the remote nodes. It's usually what the type of uh, function we use when we have uh, oscillators. But the additive nodes that uh, you used yesterday, it's also valid. And so the strength of the scaling, we set at 0 0.5. So now we have the local activity, the intrinsic activity, the global activity with the connectome and the function, the coping functions. And now we will integrate. You write your write the coupling. So now we'll integrate the equations. So the important part it's what I underline. I'm choosing the integrator dot unstochastic. I uh, specify the time step and here noise, the variance of the noise here. So the dimension of the noise depends uh, of the dimensions of the equation. So here I have one dimension and two dimension. The dimension of my system, the generic 2D. If it was the epileptor, it would have been six dimensions. So we choose the integrator and stochastic with a time state of zero one with dot one and the noise, the variance of the noise it's here. <coughs> Thank you. 
and then we choose the output uh, of, of the model, not the model, the output of TBD. Uh, so here I didn't, we didn't have the time to do the, well, I will correct this later. Um, as for bold, it needs longer uh, simulations and we are quite short in time. Uh, we will only uh, use a simple monitor, so we will just check the neuronal activity uh, of the model. So you define your monitors, and here we select temporal average. And you specify the period of the model, the same thing. Once we have defined all the five, the five main components we need to simulate, we configure the simulator by specifying my model, the model, the generic 2D, the connectivity that we import of the macaque, con, the condition, conduction speed is the one we have defined for the connectivity, the coupling, the integrator, and the monitors. And then we configure the simulator. And once it's done, <coughs> you can launch the simulations <coughs> just here. And we will simulate for 10 seconds. And with the time functions, I can display uh, how long my laptop uh, run to calculate the solution. So here I define the time and the data to be computed. And then I run my simulator for 10 seconds. Does the configuration of the simulator 
works for everybody. And then you can um, let me fix. Does the simulation finished? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So here, just to plot, we don't need this. We have the time, and we have the data. So just remember that in TVB, uh, the data has four dimensions. The first one is the time. The second one is the number of state variables. So here I'm just displaying the first state variables. Here is the number of regions. So here I choose to display the first 10. And last one is the mode, but we won't uh, use it in, uh, this model doesn't have any mode. And in any case, we won't use uh, it at all uh, in the workshop. And this little, uh, Python functions. Maybe you will need this uh, numpy.r underscore is to display the time series uh, vertical um, horizontally like this. Um, each time series below the other one, or each frame regions below the other one. What we display, you just need you, config, uh, you configure your figure. So I just say figure to plot the function plot of the time, the data with four dimensions, time, number of state variables. number of regions and the mode, and then just show. And you should get something similar to these figures. So I don't have a empirical or experimental time series to show next week, but uh, 
we can see this electrographic uh, behavior of the, uh, the dent oscillation. So when the noise, it's push away the systems. And then it going back to the fixed points here and pushing away the systems in the phase space. So I'm oscillating around this fixed point before going to the fixed point. And this oh, for a test. Do you all have the figure? It is something similar. Okay. And one thing usually we are doing in resting state is to compute the functional connectivity and to compare it with uh, the empirical. Here we don't have uh, the empirical, but we can, I can show you how to compute the functional connectivity with the, uh, the TBB tools. Uh, so it will be the, the simple Pearson correlation coefficients. So what we need first, uh, so what usually we are doing is to remove the transient, uh, the transient time. So you know because uh, you are computing the system with random initial conditions, the system needs a certain time to reach its stable state. So you're removing this transient time of your simulations. Here I just remove uh, the first thousand points. And here I'm using the time series region functions to put the output of my simulation in a certain data type of TDB. So which means that the, uh, the data are uh, now in the structure where I have uh, different information, like the connectum, of course the data, and here the sampling period of the monitors. So for example, if you, uh, if we have simulate with another uh, monitor, for example, for the board. And we, we can choose which uh, simulator we want uh, to compute the FC. So here, for example, if it was board, it would have been the second monitors. So in Python, it's zero and one. So just one for the second monitors. So for all the, uh, the TVB, uh, for the analyzers in TVB, you need to uh, put the, t the, the data in this uh, data type. Here, time series region, because uh, we have done a region-based simulations. This afternoon, you will uh, perform a simulation on the cortical surface. So it exists a time series surface, for example. And now we want to compute uh, the functional connectivity, sorry, of uh, my data. So from the function Korkov, I'm importing the correlation coefficient functions that I apply to the time series that I define above.
and then inside my function scorecoff, there is a function scorecoff analyzer. And I apply the evaluate component to compute. the FC. So if you are going to the, uh, into the code, so it's Python, so it's object oriented, so you will see the different component uh, to compute the FC and see the di uh, uh, to, to what corresponds uh, the direct parent function. So here we're just asking um, to compute uh, the function that has been, I suppose, uh, defined in the Kolkov analyzer. And as for our previous uh, TDD component, we need to configure it. Before getting the results. And to get the data of this analysis, we are taking Korkov data and in particular array data. So here we won't show this, just a, simply, a simple im show to see the functional connectivity. So we define the figure and with im show we are computing the functional connectivity. And you should get um, the FC matrices. Now the simulated activity of the macaque. Did you get the matrix?
So the common line uh, of PVB, it's more flexible, but there is some nice tools, in particular the visualizer that we cannot have for the moment, we don't have for the moment. Uh, so we don't have uh, time to do it, but once you, you can upload uh, the data set I uh, will show you. And just once it's finished, uh, did you get the matrix? Yeah? Okay. So it was just a simple example how to simulate resting state with a macaque brain. So it's exactly working uh, as for the human case. Uh, if I'm just showing you. So what you could do is to import uh, the data set of the macaque inside the graphical user interface. Either you save uh, the time series as an H file by format, because TVB works with this format to import uh, the time series inside uh, the graphical user interface, or simply reproduce uh, the Jupyter notebook with the GUI. And then you can uh, visualize. You have this nice visualizer where you have, uh, in the same times, the displays of the time series in the 2D, and here the 3D visualizations of the activity. So in the data set of the macaque, you have also the, uh, so the cortical surface available. So you can perform uh, a, a, a simulation on the cortical surface also, if you want to try. But it can be also an exercise for uh, those of you who wants to get the uh, ECTS uh, uh, for uh, TBB. And if it was, for example, bold activity, we could have uh, seen in this um, uh, slice, uh, in this sections visualizer for the mouse. And it's time for the lunch. <laughs>